Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to look into the most reliable option for monitoring HTTPS traffic and seeing it in plain text. It does take a few steps so you aren't as likely to monitor the network as easy as you would with a man in the middle attack but this method I'll show shows the most data from HTTPS traffic but it does require you to install a certificate on the victim's machine. So anyways let's get started. I've made two VMs to showcase this attack and they're both at the same network. To do this attack in a real environment the only thing that that is required would be that you are on the same network with the victim and also that you install the certificate and set up its proxy of course but of course keep things legal we don't want to do any illegal stuff and i don't support that first let's look into our internal ips of the machines uh, this will help us navigate easier and usually you would just nmap the network but since i'm just showing an example this should work good enough and then on our Kali, we will run the program MITM Web, which is man in the middle web, which is man in the middle proxy, but the traffic is visible through a web interface, which makes it way more friendly and easy to use. Also, make sure you run this with sudo because for me, it didn't work without it. You can, but you don't have to, change some things in the settings here, like I did. I've displayed the current log and I've checked don't verify the server certificate since things work better for me and more things get caught from what I've gathered when I was doing this. However, I don't think you need any of these things to see exactly what I'm about to show you. Okay, now let's go to the victim's machine and in its settings, let's just adjust the proxy to be Kali's internal IP as well as man in the middle proxy's port, which was specified when we started the script. In our case, this is going to be 8080. Next, we'll open the browser and install man in the middle proxy certificate so that most of the HTTPS traffic will be visible without an encryption to us. Now, this really depends on the website sometimes, which I'll show you later. So just follow these simple instructions that are listed on this mitm.it website and you are going to be done in no time. Time. You can also use this command below if you want to automate more things or just do it faster. As I said, this is not a perfect method, but you'll see how close it gets to being perfect. Okay, anyway, now that our certificate is imported and we're listening on the attacker's machine, let's try out some logins. So first we'll try the ones that don't work. So Instagram login gives us the username and everything else except for the password. As you can see, the password is encrypted, but uh, this isn't man in the middle proxy's fault. It actually depends on the website. Next, we can try Facebook, which has the same feature as Instagram, and you can see that the password is also encrypted. But don't worry though, you will still be able to capture traffic for most of the sites on the internet. And yes, you can also use this in malware analysis with setting up a lab, for example, like Flare VM, you can put man in the middle proxy on it and you can monitor for traffic. It can be an alternative to fake net or something like that and if you're into malware analysis you can definitely try this out. Now let's try some sites where we can capture absolutely everything. Starting off with a random pick, in Logitech's login site I'll input some random email and password and you'll clearly see everything that I've inputted. How cool is that? Even though the site is HTTPS it still works. But let's get a bit more interesting. What about LinkedIn? So let's try to log in with a random account on LinkedIn and look at that! We capture the password again, as well as the email, of course. So we can also try Snapchat, pick a likely to exist username, enter a random password. And while we are already here, we can go to Portswigger's website and enter a random password there too. So anyways, before I wrap up this video, I'd like to mention that you can highlight and filter things easily on the web interface. And you can also use man in the middle proxy's command line interface if that's more convenient for you. So what I've just shown you is probably the best way to capture HTTPS traffic today. Even this one isn't perfect, as you can see with Facebook, for example, but 90% of other HTTPS sites you would still be able to capture. So you will still be able to capture a huge amount of HTTPS traffic, which you weren't able to do before. SSL strip and HSDS hijack can still be used if you want to, but this is a different type of attack a little bit because you're using the proxy instead of attacking with a man in the middle attack which includes R spoofing or similar stuff like that. Also, regardless of everything, it's still really fun and effective. I hope you had fun, because I certainly did, so it's pretty amazing to see what man in the middle proxy can do, even though it's not a new software. I still wanted to cover this video because I find it really useful, especially in malware analysis, which I do a few times a week. Another thing to mention is that I just picked up these sites because of their popularity. Uh, please do not do anything illegal, this is just for educational purposes and for red teams and similar. So that will be all. Uh, subscribe if you like the content and thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. If you have any questions, ask them down below.